Hi all folks, this is Max from droidbionicroot.com. So today I'm going to show you how to unroot, unbrick your Motorola Droid Bionic back to completely stock. Um, so first of all, turn off your phone and then what you want to do is hold down the volume down and the power button for about one, two, three seconds. And you should be in this uh, fast flash mode, right? And if you have enough battery, it should you make sure you have enough battery, otherwise it won't work. And then plug in your USB cable to your computer, right? Alright, and let's go to our computer. And uh, this, will, this method is for only Windows right now, sorry, because RSD Lite program is only available um, for Windows. Uh, but I'll have another directions on how to do it. Uh, Linux and Mac if you guys need it. Um, next what you're gonna do is uh, go install RSD Lite 5.5.msi if you install that you'll get an icon um, that looks like this right there right uh, do you see it? Yeah, yeah RSD right there oops put it right here and uh, what you will do is run that program Once it pops up, it's very easy. Make sure you have this thing, Fastboot USB connected. Um, if you don't, then you need to go install the drivers for Windows. I'll have links on where you can get the drivers too if you don't have it. But if you're really using my method, then you should have it already installed. Um, choose the, the little dot 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 thingy. Let me zoom in so you can see better. And uh, you'll go down to... Um, the folder where you unzipped the Droid Bionic Unroot. Uh, where is it? There we go, Droid Bionic Unroot. And you'll find bionic underscore minimal underscore fxc dot tar dot gz. Um, open that and uh, unzipping, uncompress only. And what, when that's complete, we're going to just hit start and that will get us back to a completely stock ROM. Which is cool, right? And just hit start, and that's pretty much it. Give it about 10 minutes, go away from your computer. Try to not to multitask if you have a. Uh, I would just suggest not doing anything on your computer. Um, if it messes up, you can try it again, but it should work uh, on any, even if you have it completely bricked. Just so as long as you can get into um, the fast boot mode I just showed you. You should be all good to go and it should be completely uh, stock and no one will be able to tell if you've rooted your phone or dropped it in water or whatever. So I'll be back when this completes and show you that uh, when it's complete it will automatically reboot and you should have everything stock again just like the day you bought it. See y'all. Uh, I'll be back. So it's rebooted. Once it reboots, um, you can pretty much turn this off because that's it's pretty much done. But just wait till it completely boots and then you can just close the RSD even though it says, oh, you gotta wait for it. So I'll be back. Hi, old folks. So I've got it uh, rebooted and um, it's doing something. And you can close uh, RSD Lite once it reboots. It says damage now. Screw that. Let's focus my camera again. And as you can see, it's working. I'm gonna skip all this just to show you. Ah, take this out too. Skip. Um, and it's gonna ask you to back up the system. Um, I'm gonna skip everything here. Skip. I'd rather use titanium backup. It's more, you know. I don't need Verizon knowing what kind of apps I use. I'd rather just do it with the app. Um, so it's completely stock now uh, and you can take it back and make sure your internal storage will still be there. Your personal files, videos, photos, it won't erase that. Um, just the system settings and your apps and stuff. So um, you might want to back up everything in the internal storage before you return it and also take your external SD card out um, and uh, I've actually made a backup using Clockwork Mod Recovery so I can actually go root my phone now and use Clockwork Mod Recovery to get all my apps, all settings, 
uh, my my previous ROM um, very easily, maybe in like 10 minutes. So, and you can also copy that over to your hard disk, and also do it when you get a new phone if you're exchanging for it. And I'll also use a titanium backup, um, so I can also restore all my um, apps, you know, on a stock ROM too. So both both ways is the best. Um, as you can see, I've got it completely stock. All apps are stock, um, as you can see. And I'll show you that settings about phone is 2.3.4. So you'll go back to 2.3.4. But um, if you want to be on stock, go to about phone and go to system updates. And it'll show you if there's any updates, it'll show you there's an update and you can install it. Um, make sure you're on Wi-Fi or getting good signal when you do this. Otherwise, it will not give you an update. But uh, that's how you unroot Droid Bionic. Um, subscribe to droidbionicroot.com. We'll have more ROMs, tips, and you know things that can help you get back on track or super, you know, uh, what's that word? Um, super tastic your phone or <laughs> whatever. Supercharge your phone. That's what I meant. Or turbo charge it. Anyway, subscribe. Thanks, y'all. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I highly appreciate it so I can make more videos. See y'all later.